Back row ministry, the world premiere, Mr. Mockley coming back at you live and direct. Just want to do a real quick video. Um, There's a lot of dingbats in the world today. A lot of people who don't understand that the elite control the world. A lot of people who think they're, that they're actually voting for president and voting for this office and voting for that office. And like we've said before, if you've been look, listening to me for years, you get manipulated in the voting. They kind of push you towards the candidate they want you to vote for. So we talked about the Grover Cleveland ritual, which came true with which had Grover Cleveland and Donald Trump becoming a second Grover Cleveland, a second split term president. Uh, that's what uh, Zach, some other people in the truth community were following, and, and it hit. It hit. I saw before the election uh, on Tuesday, uh, Fox News was interviewing three black men, and one of them just so happened to have on a Cleveland jersey. Found that very strange before the election. And I knew at that point that the Grover Cleveland ritual was going to come true. So Trump fulfilled prophecy. And remember, Prince said, follow prophecy. So they tell you prophecy. So it's another prophecy that we're looking at. We're not done with Kamala yet. So we're still looking at another potential prophecy. And that's the prophecy of Gerald Ford that a woman president would not be elected, but she would become president. Once an old man dies in office. So right now, that's what we're looking at. Because when Cleveland lost, Harrison became the president. That was a, there was a president in between Cleveland that was a short-term president. So let's see. That's the other thing we're watching. Not saying that it... We're just watching to see if that prophecy is fulfilled. So we're definitely continuing to watch if they're done with Kamala or will they bring her back. Remember now, we're getting close to World War III. We're talking about the decimation of countries. Who's going to take us there is what we're looking to see. Um, so, Grover Cleveland prophecy fulfilled. Were you manipulated into voting for Trump? Of course you were. Of course you were, because everything was established and set up that way. The, the migrant issue, which is out of control, which everybody continues to act like is not out of control. You go to Chicago, as I said, they got tent cities and it's all over the place, gang warfare in, in cities. I mean, it, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. So you can turn a blind eye, but I just tell you, just go in these cities and go see for yourself. New York, L.A., just go look for yourself and you'll see what we're talking about. But that was an issue. The economy is jacked. Food prices out of control. Gas prices are trying to balance themselves off. But inflation is, is out of control. It's just things have just went up to, to the point of it's hard to really balance your budget on a day to day basis. And for a lot of people, it's hard for them to survive. See, price of living in New York is skyrocketing. Price of living in New Jersey with taxes is skyrocketing. So it's hard for people to even to keep their homes. It's hard for people to find a place to rent. So the economy is jacked. A lot of the abortion talk, nobody really focused on that because the Democrats have been running on that shit for years. They've been running on abortion for years, and everybody knows that shit. That's a Democrat talking point, and it's something they're never going to resolve so they can have another talking point. Right now, for those who are listening, ladies, Abortion is a state issue, meaning you get to vote for how abortion rights are going to look in your state. And the benefit of that, where the government is not controlling these decisions, is that legislation can continuously change. When new sciences come, that's going to benefit states because you'll get a chance to vote on some of those new sciences and techniques to say, A, we want to use them, or B, we don't. So it's no longer where the federal government can say A, B, and C. Because even with those Planned Parenthood, Ken Lennox, and funding, you still have to follow by the, the guidelines of, of the government. And the Democrats at any time could have put abortion uh, clinics on federal property, and that would have made it, it legal federally. They never did, because they never planned to. They use that as a talking point 
thinking that that's going to get women voters and that shit is not going to get women voters because women have families women have careers the economy and the migration issue was a problem for a lot of people it was a problem for a lot of people so you were manipulated into voting for donald trump i told people from the job america is not at this time, going to have an Indian woman and a Hindu as their president. And Kamala ain't no Christian for those who were acting like she was. She's a goddamn Hindu. She is not no Christian. So, no. Wait, think about it. We've never even had an Italian president yet in America. We have yet to even have an Italian president. So how the hell are we going to have an Indian president? It's not going to happen. So they really pretty much stuck a candidate up there who was a horrible politician, one of the worst politicians I've seen in my lifetime. And I've seen some bad politicians coming from Chicago. You see a lot of good politicians. You see some bad ones. You see some dirty ones. But this lady was a fucking horrible politician. She was not a good politician. She was just not a good politician. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. Everybody ain't built for politics. That's why she was placed in her positions. Remember, she ran for president early and bombed. They made her vice president. Remember, this is Clarence Avant's girl. Clarence Avant is an illuminated one. So they made her vice president. They put her in this position to run for president, knowing she wasn't ready. No, she couldn't beat Donald Trump. She can't beat Trump and no politicking. She can't. She can't. She's not at that level. Number one, Trump Scott is right Freemason. He's in the system. He's part of the Jesuit order. She don't stand a chance. They knew that. And all these folks out here, I told y'all what, the election was over, what, two, three weeks ago that this was going to be a blowout? I, did I not say it was going to be a blowout? Did I not say that it was going to be a landslide. That's what it ended up being. Her killing spot was that Israeli shit. That was it. The Democrats died with Israel. Just like Nikki Haley's vice presidential chance died with Israel, with writing her name on that bomb. This would have been worse. If Nikki Haley would have been on Trump's ticket, this would have been worse. She wouldn't have won one damn state. Kamala would have won a state. Because she couldn't go to misogyny at that point to defend herself. They would have hit on abortion. There would have been no way for her to defend herself. She had no policies. So they threw a candidate up there that they knew didn't stand a damn chance. How do we know? Because tell me the last time a president-elect won the popular vote. I'll wait. Tell me the last time that happened. Who, Barack Obama? It doesn't happen all the time, especially for Republicans. Republicans are never the popular candidate. It's been a long time since you've seen a Republican win vote. And when your candidate ain't even popular enough to get the popular vote, that tells you right there. This person ain't no good. So all this crying, whining, and weeping, why are you doing any of this? She wasn't going to win. She wasn't placed there to win. She was placed there to lose. This is not your game. This is their game. They make the rules. This is a checkerboard boy production. Prince tried to tell us. He tried to tell black people. Don't have a dog in some of these fights. Just stay the fuck out. Don't involve yourself. You're not going to put me in a black and white game, which they love to do in politics. And you got black people talking about the... The Proud Boy, even the Proud Boy situation and, and George Floyd. That's created by the checkerboard boys to get you to vote for Biden. That's why they did that that year. It was a year of chaos. And they pushed everybody towards Biden with all this crazy racism shit. Anytime they need niggas to vote, they throw out the race card. Oh, see, they're killing Negroes. Look what the police are doing. You need to vote for us. Look, Racism. From the party that created the Ku Klux Klan. Think about that. The Democratic Party created the Ku Klux Klan. Yet they are always the party that tend to use racism to get you to vote for them. 
Look at the look at the laws they passed to get black people to vote. The Voters Rights Act, the Civil Rights Act. They always use race. And this time it didn't work. Because black Americans put their fucking foot down. Our ancestors from this country told these young black Americans it's time to put your foot down. And that's what they did. And they got off the Democratic plantation. They got off the plantation. And they chose to use their vote in a very intelligent way. And that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do in this game. Don't let people dictate how your vote is going to be used. Don't let people do that to you. So don't be crying and whining and cussing out your in-laws about some shit you ain't got no control over anyway. Trump going to do whatever he's going to do. We're still in World War III. Don't think for one second we ain't in World War. Remember, World War II started around, what, 1939. So we got a couple of more years before we get to the point of World War. But a lot of things are going to take place. This next four years, probably nothing happens. Players get in position. But we don't know because we still got one more ritual that we're watching out for to see what's going to be the outcome of this ritual. So we still got a long way to go as, as we are in World War Three. So we saw people shaking like booty meat early. The Ukraine president, what the first thing he did, call Trump because he got to get the dogs off of him. Remember, Zelensky is not a checkerboard boy. Putin is a checkerboard boy. Kim Jong-un is a checkerboard boy. So they had to get them checkerboard boys off of him real quick. He called Trump immediately. Ready to join. What I got to do? When is the next large meeting? Because he ready to join. He ain't got no choice. That shows you Zelensky is not part of the game. He played both sides very well. Biden and Kamala gave him all that money. The first thing he did was run to Trump because he knew he got to save his ass at this point. It's a game, y'all. It's a game. And once we learn that they make the rules, then you know how to play. As I said, I voted for neither one of them motherfuckers. I'm not down with you giving $38 billion to the Israelis for the next 10 years. That's Trump's play, too. He's involved in that shit. He ain't innocent on TV talking about bomb Iran. So Trump ain't innocent. Trump ain't as, and you can't trust Trump because you don't know how Trump is playing the game. At one minute, he bombed Iran, but then the next minute, he hugged up with Sunni Muslims. Now, remember, Iran is full of Sunni Muslims. Now, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. I stand corrected. Iran is Shia. Shiites are in Iran. So, we have a Shiite Sunni situation popping off. But Trump ain't putting no boots on ground in Israel. He's not going to put no group, no boots on ground. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. So, once again, don't get in your feelings about shit you ain't got nothing to do with. Don't get in your feelings. If you voted, you done. You did your part for democracy. Democracy lives. All the bullshit about democracy is dead. And I, once you vote, that shows that democracy exists in the country. That's what it, it is about. New York needs to ask themselves out of all the states. Every every state had all them candidates on there. Cornell West, Jill Stein. New York was the only state that did not have all them candidates on that damn ticket. And you got that hypocrite black bitch, Letitia Adams, standing up there talking all this bullshit. Yet she sat there with Holcomb and took all those other people off their ballot. But she's the main one talking about democracy and she's going to say democracy. Those are the people y'all need to be watching out for the Letitia Adams of the world. These niggas with agendas. Because they're always talking, but their actions don't show. Why did Governor Holcomb agree to take all these other candidates off the ticket and not give people a chance to vote for who they wanted to in New York State? 
Yeah, she on TV with, with her lap doll, Letitia Adams, talking about how great democracy is. These are the hypocrites of the world. Every other state was democratic except for New York. So this is a game that people are playing, and they play it right in front of your face, but some of us are too stupid to look at what they did. Kamala would have lost New York if all those candidates was on that ticket. Remember, Cornell Weston lived in New York for over 60, 70 years. Faithful to New York, and he wasn't even on the ballot in New York. Yet, democracy, and we're going to take, protect your democracy. They're going to protect democracy for themselves and their agenda. Watch how Letitia Adams falls over the next couple of months and next year. Oh, she's going to have a bad fall. Because she's so black, but then she goes after another black man. Watch what happens to her. Watch what happens to some of these folks who were black by agenda, who going to pay the price for picking certain sides. And they need to pay the price. We need to stop selling our soul to the highest bidder. And when that shit come back, then we always talking about racism. No, dumbassism is the price that you pay for making dumbass decisions and playing in a game where your ass ain't got no skills and no no goddamn friends. Anytime you convict a person, they don't go to jail. That should tell you how powerful they are and how stupid your ass is playing that type of game. Politics is bullshit, y'all. It's influence. They influence you to move the way they want you to. That's all they do. And if you're stupid enough to play the game, what the fuck can we say for you? Don't have a dog in the fight. Pick the fight you want to put your dog in. But your dog don't need to be in every fight. Mr. Mockley, Back Row Ministry, Peace and Agree.